for sale. Mm -hmm. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler. He carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own check cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, then on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked, he walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling he caps caps for sale 50 cents a cap but nobody want it any caps that morning nobody wanted even a red cap he began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I will go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. <coughs> he walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and lied back a little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own check cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps. On the very top. Tommy's this top. They were all there, so he went to sleep for, he slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his 
his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own check cap. He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? Monkeys. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The tailor looked at the monkeys. The, mon the monkeys looked at the tailor. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke, spoke to them. What he did? Spoke. You monkeys, you, he said shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <coughs> and this work. This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and, and he said, You might is you. You better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, what the monkey says. Oh, it's the pillars. Oh, the monkey is repeating what the pillar do. <laughs> By his time, the pillar was really, re very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps! But the, the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, No one is repeating what the bell are doing, mommy. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own check cap. Cap. True, 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 true. Eat it on the ground and began to walk away. This is the way. That's a far away. But 
to then each monkey pulled off his cap and all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. See that? So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First, his own check cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very, on the very top. So he can be happy again because the monkeys are all gone. They disappeared. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town, calling caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. What's saying there? D, 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 and D, So, so, children, now we already better off. Don't you see the video, guys?